This video is hard to watch, but you need to. Young man tried to save his friend from a bunch of bullies he paid with his life. I'd rather walk in the light, he keeps high. Look through the left and the right, it's a might. I know we sound with the video gun below average when I get the king inside. I know we sound with the video gun below average when I get the king inside. What's going on? Happy, happy day. So glad you are in the building with me. Welcome to another episode of Snap Political, where we challenge you to think for yourself so you can make informed decisions for your household. Guys, there's so, so many things that's going on in the world. It's like, where do I start? But I really want to talk about this issue. You all have seen you know, me have a lot of, <clears throat> I've been posting more and more content in regards to our youth, because it really seems like there is, you know, it's, it's different from when I was in school, you know, there were fights, you know, they started, you know, bringing guns into the picture when it came to their fights, but it's way different now. It's like, it has truly shifted. And that's the sad part about it. What is going on with our youth in this day and time where the parents where the community advocates, where the laws in place that are going to consequence them for their negative behaviors and to let them know, excuse me, y'all, that they can't get away with their behavior just because they're youth. We're not going to make excuses for them. We're going to make them pay for their poor choices because they are very well knowledgeable of right and wrong. I want to talk about this. Let's bring this on up and let's talk about the absence of of this being a, a story that has incited our um, people who fight for, for rights. Why haven't we heard anything from these people? 17 year old beaten to death by teen group outside school. This video is hard to watch, but you need to. Young man tried to save his friend from a bunch of bullies he paid with his life. This is video of the attack that dozen or so kids beat Jonathan Lewis to death. And as I said, don't look away. Don't change the channel. This is ridiculous. Because Jonathan deserves justice. His father reports the gang attacked when he tried to protect a smaller kid that had been robbed and thrown in a trash can by the gang. Somebody was laying on the ground, and they were, like, out of commission and incapacitated. And right in that parking lot, I saw somebody uh, getting chest compressions and CPR. The police came, ambulance, fire truck. Yes. Almost two weeks later now, police haven't arrested anybody. It's on wow. video. It'd be easy right now to say it's an all-black mob beating a white kid. Mm -hmm. If it had been a white mob beating a black kid, well, then Kamala Harris would personally be prosecuting the case. Out exactly. And that's the point. And that is the point. And that is where things have shifted. And that is absolutely wrong. I can't understand why we are in this state that we are in right now so once again when you go to the polls let's make sure we're putting the right people in office the right people who are going to stand up for human rights for rights of all for all groups and not just have this tunnel vision or retribution and slavery and all that foolery we're not not we're not we're not going on the on the whole spiral thing about slavery and all of that go watch people on snap we got a gazillion videos i even talk about over here i ain't on that bandwagon i ain't talking about that that was a horrible thing. We already know it. But black people aren't the only ones who suffered horribly. OK, let's just keep it real. And go do the research on slavery and how we even got over there, and how blacks were, black, were already enslaved by our own in Africa. So let's not go down. I'm talking about what's going on right here, right now with this young man who was a white teen who was killed by a mob of black, of black boys or black people. Per, primarily, I saw another kid in there they may have been Hispanic I'm not quite sure but most of those kids are black this is absolutely horrible horrible out in Nevada but there is a deeper problem here it is and that's what we want to talk about with Jonathan Lewis senior that's Jonathan's dad we appreciate you being here Jonathan I'm I'm really sorry about your son uh, it's clear you raised him right if he was stepping in to try to to stand up for an, another young another young child um, what is, what is it about him that made him want to do that, you think? Well, um, my family is full of veterans. Uh, my dad's a retired Navy Special Ops Master Diver, and um, my grandfather's a highly decorated World War II veteran, multiple Purple Hearts, and uh, yeah, I grew up my whole life wanting to serve the military. I joined the military the day after I turned 18, and um, I think that Jonathan just uh, knew the great strength of love. You know, that's what we teach in our family, that... Love is the greatest strength, and 
Do we protect our family members and care for one another and have a deep sense of community? And I think that that just inspired him to do so. Any idea why it's taken police so long? You've got you've got the videotape. Um, as we know from law, from the law, you don't have to be the one to to deal the fatal blow. If you're part of a gang that attacks somebody and somebody dies, you you get arrested for murder. That's just the way it works. Why is it taking so long? Well, um, I'm in close contact with uh, Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department's detective division, and they are working very diligently. They haven't given me a reason why they haven't made an arrest yet, but uh, they do have. There's other videos that are not released to the public, just so that you're aware of that. And exactly what occurred was that uh, Jonathan was actually attacked first by a few kids, and they couldn't beat him up because he was so strong. And then so all the other kids joined in and beat him to death. That's that. horrible. Wow. That's absolutely wow. horrible. I, 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 I'm just stunned. And they all should go to jail, to juvenile. Yes, they should. I am a firm believer in choices and consequences, rewards and positive praise. Yes, that is what my program is about. It's making chill. It's, the, it's about letting kids know that the power of choice is either going to help you or it's going to hurt you. And you're responsible if you have all of your cognitive ability and you know absolutely right from wrong and you made this choice and decision, you're going to have to pay the consequence kid or not and all of those kids that participating in beating this young teen and he died should be consequented to the fullest and rehabilitated while they in there I'm sorry yes and parents of, of those kids you also have learned a valuable lesson you also have learned about a valuable lesson you think the police are dragging their feet for some reason I can't I can't figure it out well, I, uh, I can tell you that I've had sat down and had meetings with these detectives, and they're very highly efficient at their work. Uh, I think that there's a lot of other unique factors involved. Um, unfortunately, the school went and gathered up some of these kids and before, even though they were told not to. And, you know, I think that they were just trying to help, but uh, it ended up causing a lot of problems. So the investigation yeah. got more complex. Yeah. Jonathan, I, I well, you I'm sure so got sorry. the video. Um, and I know, I know, you raised you raised your son right, uh, in a really incredible way. And I'm, I'm just, I'm thankful that there there are people like him out there. Um, appreciate your time, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you very much. And I just hope that uh, the community can kind of come together and find a sense of peace and love for each other. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thanks for watching. Go wow. to joinnn.com. And even him, the dad, even the dad is still at a sense of cool, calm, and collectedness. He doesn't harbor any anger. He's not, you know, going off on the teens or anything like that. And, you know, and that's so good for him to be in a place, it sounds like, of peace, but still wanting justice. And he should. And as many people should cover this as possible to get this to get this out because this is ridiculous. Las Vegas police, why have how why haven't you arrested those young teens yet? What is the hold up? What are you worried about? You worried about somebody coming up talking about a uh, racism? Please let's not let's not go there when clearly the young man on the ground is the victim. So I'm trying to figure out what's taking so long. It's been two weeks, he said, and you don't have a single person in custody. That makes no absolute sense. Those that are in the community that want to see justice, you need to go down there and be pressing your um, police department that justice needs to be served. Just like that, if they had been a black boy um, mobbed by some white teens, justice needs to be served. Child, please, they would be every day since that boy would have died, they would have been picketing in that area. For justice, let's not play the radio. Y'all know how we do. We feel so violated. We feel so, oh, so wrong. So racial injustice. The white man keeping us down. We rot. We're marching with picket signs. Child, please. Absolutely unacceptable. So to the teen, to the parents of those teens who participated in that mob, hopefully you're sitting down talking to your kid now and preparing them for jail hopefully you're sitting down talking to them and let them know how bad the mistake was that they made and they're going to have to pay the consequences for that and hopefully after the after they would have served whatever time they're going to serve in juvenile because i hope they get i hope they go there i sure do i don't have any sympathy 
for ignorance and stupidity, especially when it comes from our youth. It just makes no sense. Let's just go down all of the things that participate in this factor that lead kids to make these types of decisions. And I've said it once before, and I can speak from this because this is my area. We, we're talking about the family environment, parents, low income, schools, talking about television. We're talking about rap music. We're talking about a false sense of society of what we think success is in our community. I can go on and on and on. So all of these things have contributed to a mindset that vibrates like that. Now, let's say the parents are doing great. They're providing their kids with everything and the kid still wants to be a menace because that happens. And maybe you got a couple of those kids in that are going through that experience right now. However, to some degree, I'm still going to put the parents in the mix of lack of responsibility. I just I, I just couldn't see it. That, went, that it wouldn't have gone down in my household and people I grew up with in my neighborhood and, and classmates of mine that I went to school with from elementary, middle to high school. It just wouldn't have happened. We came, our parents came and busted your tail in front of the classroom in the school, okay? They would come and whoop you in the class <laughs> in school. They would come to the bus, tell the bus driver to pull over and you cutting the fool on the bus. They're going to pull up on the bus. The bus driver is going to pull over and your tail going to get whooped on the bus. Where is this type of discipline and responsibility from the parents today? It's not happening. It's not happening. Raise up. Raise up. Community, speak up for this young man. And you march down there and you go and talk to these people as to why hasn't Justin been served for this family yet. This is absolutely ridiculous. This makes my eyes ache. I'm sick of this. This does not represent all of the black youth. And I know that. And I know that. And kudos, and I must shout out, kudos to the dope parents out there that's raising your kids right, that's showing them opposite and teaching them how to love humanity, no matter what color of your skin is, how to judge based off of the situation and not making it seem like it's always color related. Don't let the media and the twist the left woke mindset get you messed up because that's what's going on. Absolutely not. All right, guys, let's get in this comment section. I don't want to go in no soapbox, but I had to speak up about this because this just makes my eyes ache, as my grandmama would say. Let's go. Get in the comment section, guys. I love you. I appreciate all your support, and let's chop this up. We have to pray. We have to pray. We have to pray, and we also have to make some noise. We need some programs in place, and if there are programs already in place, we need to usher these kids there and show them the value of what freedom looks like. Show them the value of being free and not having a criminal record because, because these artists and these other people and what you see on TV praising lawlessness that ain't it because reality gonna set in when you experiencing that and that ain't what you want because also sin leads to death all right good people